Your health, feeling great every day. Our health is the most important thing in our lives. When we feel good, we can enjoy everything around us, playing with friends, working hard at school, or having fun with family. But sometimes, we might not feel our best. This article will talk about health, good and bad, and how to take care of yourself. Greetings and good health. The most common way to ask about someone's health is simply, how are you today? A healthy response might be, I'm very well, thanks, or I'm feeling good. Feeling under the weather. If you're not feeling well, you might say something like, I don't feel so good, or I feel ill. This could mean a mild illness, like a headache or a cold. Maybe you'll need to rest at home for a day or two to feel better again. Uh oh, feeling worse. Sometimes, we might get sick and need more help. If you have a bad stomach ache or think you might throw up, you could say, that food didn't agree with me, or, I think I'm going to be sick. In these cases, it's best to stay home and rest until you feel better. Everyday Alkies There are small problems that can pop up from time to time. A headache might have you asking, do you have any aspirin? A toothache is a good reason to say, I need to see the dentist. A common cold might have you wanting a hot drink before bed. Long-term health issues Some health problems can last for a long time. If you have allergies, you might say, I get hay fever every summer and have to sneeze a lot. Someone with asthma might say, I can't breathe sometimes. These conditions need special care from a doctor. Illness in warmer climates In hot countries, there are insects that can make us sick. Mosquito bites can spread malaria, a serious illness. Bad drinking water can lead to health problems like cholera. These illnesses need medical attention. Taking care of yourself. There are things you can do to stay healthy. Eating lots of fruits and vegetables is good for you, so maybe you can say, yes, I eat lots of healthy food. Exercise is another great way to stay healthy. Do you enjoy swimming? running, or riding a bike. You can say, yes, I like to exercise. Feeling stressed? Sometimes life can feel overwhelming, and you might say, I feel stressed. Stress isn't good for us, so it's important to find ways to relax. Maybe you can say, I need to relax more and not worry so much. Health and Illness Vocabulary General Health Well, unwell, these are opposites. Well means you are healthy and feeling good. Unwell means you are not feeling your best, maybe a little sick. Healthy, unhealthy, these are also opposites. Healthy describes someone who is in good physical condition and not sick. Unhealthy describes someone who might not be eating well, exercising, or getting enough sleep. Sick, illness, sick means you are not healthy and have an illness. Illness is a general term for a condition that makes you feel unwell. A cold or the flu are examples of illnesses. Doctor, a doctor is a medical professional who diagnoses and treats illnesses. Medicine, medicine is a substance you take to treat an illness or to help you feel better. It can come in many forms, like pills, syrups, or injections. Hospital, a hospital is a building where people go to receive medical care for serious illnesses or injuries. Feelings Good, bad, these are opposites. Good can describe something that is pleasant, healthy, or beneficial. 
Bad describes something unpleasant, unhealthy, or harmful. Tired, energetic, these are opposites. Tired means you lack energy and feel like you need rest. Energetic means you have a lot of energy and feel active. Achy, sore, these describe feelings of discomfort. Achy is a dull pain that might be spread throughout your body, like after exercise. Sore is a sharper pain in a specific area, like a sore throat. Nauseous, this means you feel like you might vomit. Body parts Head, top part of your body, containing your brain and face. Throat, passage at the back of your mouth that leads to your stomach and lungs. Chest, the front part of your torso, between your neck and abdomen. Stomach, a muscular sac in your abdomen that stores and breaks down food. Back, the rear part of your body, opposite your chest. Arm, an upper limb extending from your shoulder to your hand. Leg, a lower limb extending from your hip to your foot. Everyday alkies. Headache, pain in the head. Toothache, pain in the tooth. Stomachache, pain in the stomach. Cold. Stuffy nose, sore throat, cough, fever, feeling hotter than usual, serious conditions, cancer, a serious illness that can affect many parts of the body, asthma, difficulty breathing, malaria, a serious illness spread by mosquitoes, healthy habits, diet, food and drinks you consume exercise, physical activity that keeps you healthy, sleep, rest needed for your body to function well, learning, resources, flashcards, create flashcards with the word on one side and the definition or picture on the other. Online games, many websites offer interactive games to learn health vocabulary in a fun way. Books and articles, Look for children's books or articles that explain health topics with simple language. Doctors visit. When you visit a doctor, pay attention to the words they use and ask questions if you're unsure. Here are some additional tips to make learning more effective. Focus on words you'll use. Start with the vocabulary relevant to your daily life or current health concerns. Use visuals, pictures, Diagrams and videos can help you remember new words. Practice regularly. Spend a few minutes each day reviewing what you've learned. Use it or lose it. Try incorporating the new vocabulary into conversations with friends and family.